friend, my name is Doombim and today we're going to be talking about Anna Harry Mix, which is a four episode hentai created by Pixie and released in 2006. It tells the story of Akitoshi Takami, a high schooler that has a thing for his sister but doesn't say anything until the Shinigami Mina appears and tells him that she is going to take his life unless he can create life, in which case she will extend his lifespan by 10 years. Of course, Akitoshi doesn't have any women in his life, so after some persuading, he eventually convinces his sister Hitomi to carry his baby. And, of course, by the laws of hentai, anything with a vagina is automatically attracted to the MC, so Mina ends up getting in on the action. First complaint! Cinderace. Hitomi just acts like this horrendously unpleasant bitch towards her brother in the very beginning that I couldn't help but just hate her right away. What in God's name is the obsession with women that treat men like poo? I just, I don't, I don't understand. Also, that sleeping scene, look, if we're honest, it was dumb. The main character's questionable morals aside, no one would sleep through that unless they were drugged. I can find scenes like that interesting if the creators put in the work to create some sort of suspense, like, you know, there's the actual chance of the person waking up while the while they're essentially getting molested, but Hitomi was basically in a coma, and that's really boring, and that's honestly kind of lazy. That being said, there was also, like, really no build-up to Hitomi agreeing to carry the baby. I understand that this is a hentai, and they don't really have a whole lot of time to, you know, work up a big story, and Akitoji is her brother, so obviously she wants to save his life, but there really seemed to be like there was no thought put into it at all. In fact, she actually seemed like really freaking eager to have a two-toed, five-armed incest baby put inside of her. Also, why in just for God's sake, why does Akitoshi have all of those sex toys in the third episode? There were so many! Did he purchase them for this specific event? Did he just have them lying around? Had he used them before? Because that was quite the expensive collection he had going on there. Sex toys are not cheap, kids. Beyond that, though, I found the story to actually be really fun. <laughs> I know that sounds weird because I'm just kind of like complaining about everything. But, you know, I sat down, I got through the entire series, I was actually disappointed when episode 4 rolled around and it came towards the end, which the final sex scene is like really long and kind of awkward sounding. But if you don't put too much thought in the story like I always do, where I have to nitpick at everything, it's actually really enjoyable. So I am a little torn on whether or not I like the visuals. On one hand, it's kind of refreshing to see a hentai that doesn't look like it was made in the 90s. On the other, it still looked pretty dated. It's like this love baby of hentai generations. Get it? I made a baby joke because the story. Anyways, as per usual, the main character is exceedingly boring and generic. Hitomi isn't really that much better with no real unique qualities, but there's something about her character design that stood out at me. I don't really know why. It probably had to do with the color and shape of her eyes, but maybe I'm just grasping at straws here. Mina's character design is really the most interesting one out of all of them with what the demon bondage suit, but there's something really kind of freaky going on with her eyes that just genuinely bothered me. It seriously looked like Christopher Hart was in charge of her eye design because her eyes were enormous and they were always at some weird angle that looked like a flaw that made it past QA as opposed to an intentional design choice. Most of my praise honestly goes towards the art style picked for the hair because it just looked nice and flowy and I just liked it a whole lot. So, all in all, I actually did enjoy Anna Haramix. The writing was a bit rushed and I had some questions, but for the most part it was very enjoyable. I had fun watching it, which it took me like four series to finally get to this, so I was exhausted with hentai by that point, but that kind of like woke me back up and I, where was I going with that? Anyways, it's just, it's really entertaining. I definitely suggest watching it. It also featured a soundtrack that wasn't too shabby. Anyways, those are my thoughts on Anahara Mix. Have you seen it? Let me know in the comments below, otherwise you can find all of my social media as well as my Patreon in the description. Happy unbirthday and I will see you later. Bye!